Bruno Sebi is desperate to win Valencia. But with driving like this, can he? Alan Array, the French champion in a works Renault, is just as keen. But he too finds exactly the same spot as Sebi far too difficult to handle. And this is that same spot. His car finds it too difficult to handle as well. Any further, and he would have had a free car wash in the river. Fortunately, he and his wife, his co-driver, were all right. And the crowd manhandled the Renault back onto the road, and he went on to capture fifth place. Competitors don't stop to help. Meanwhile in Portugal, several of the drivers seem to be competing for the high-flying record. The Mazda of Marco Ercolani does remarkably well. But the 1988 Group N world champion, Pascal Gabon, he is the winner. A standard showroom Mazda, one that you can go out and buy for yourself. Obviously, only being used by one careful owner. Could this be the dissatisfied customer? A beautiful day for Brands Hatch. Mercedes had missed Le Mans and had to win if they wanted the Manufacturers' Championship. They were all pretty close from the start. In the early stages, Porsche lead with Jochen Maas close behind in the Mercedes. This is Clearway's corner. Number 198 is Stephen Hines. Klaus Ludwig is about to lap him. Maas is right behind and watch from Marabaldi's amazing escape. Cheever and Brundle also escape the carnage. Half a million dollars blown, no one hurt. And now let's move to the end of season bash at Brands Hatch. And bash is the right word, as within two hours there were no less than eight incidents. Number 86, Steve Abbott causes the first. Thank goodness for safety nets. Oh, and the poor marshals as well. Let's have another look at that in slow motion. I said, poor marshal. Look how close he came to them. Seriously though, they were all unhurt except for a few bruises. Finally, it's back to Brands Hatch for Formula 3000. It's close, it's fast, it's spectacular. That's Volker Wiedler. Amazingly, he gets away with no damage. Here's Roberto Moreno, the 1988 Formula 3000 champion, doing his impersonation of a reliant road car. No disrespect intended. Our cameraman naturally had a change of underwear. As ever, the British Marshals are on the scene quickly to ensure a fast rescue. In replay, we see that Moreno had a coming together with Switzerland's Gregor Foytek. That this is the biggest motor racing accident for a decade. Britain's Johnny Herbert, Switzerland's Gregor Foytek and Frenchman Olivier Griard are amongst 11 cars involved in this massive accident. They all have the modern design of racing cars to thank for their survival.